I deserve that whip right there. I desire to pull up to that big house in my night. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It's Anti Gorgeous here with another video. I know what you guys are going to say. Say, where have you been? Who are you? We don't even know you no more, sis. I'm sorry that I've been gone for so long. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, guys. But I'm back. This video is going to be a makeup look brought to you by Minta Cosmetics. They sent me so many goodies, so I just decided to sit down and record for you guys this look. If you're interested, just keep watching. I'm also gonna talk about where I've been, so yeah, let's just get started. I'm so happy to be back on YouTube. I'm so happy that I'm up to filming videos again, and I'm glad that you guys made me get off my ass and get back in front of the camera. I received this beautiful palette from Minty Cosmetics. I've been getting so many packages from them and I love everything that they send me. They have the perfect nudes for people of color. And look how jumbo this is. And the colors are just perfect for everyday wear. Like, let's get into this palette. The mirror is huge, and that's what I love about this palette. So I'm just gonna go right ahead and just prep my skin real quick. I'm using a Tatcha Luminous Dewy Spray, what I have left. I have a new bottle, but I wanna use all of this up. Honestly, you could just wear this by yourself if you're just trying to get like a fresh face and you want your skin to glow. So I'm just gonna rub this in, and then I'm gonna go right ahead and just put my moisturizer on. I probably should tell you guys where I've been. I've basically just been working on my craft, uh, taking a break from social media. If you know that you're a creator, uh, we need our breaks from social media because it just becomes so overwhelming. Social media has really changed as far as like the views and stuff. I know I haven't been active, but even when I was posting every day, like some days my post would get like a certain amount of likes and then another day is like my post would be dead. It was kind of discouraging, I'm not even gonna lie. So I kind of like took a step back because I feel like I was working so hard and nobody was seeing my work. Not to say like likes is important, but I want, I create for you guys. I create so you guys can see what I'm doing, see what's, what, what I like. I recently just started working on Black Ink Crew Chicago, um, which is very exciting and it's a start to where I wanna go. So shout out to my mentor, Mally Magic. I love her so much, like she's amazing. Not saying that I'm gonna have a video every day, but I'm going to try my best to at least get one or two videos out a week if my schedule allows me to. I'm gonna go ahead and do my foundation. I'm gonna be using the NARS foundations. I'm gonna be using the shades Makayo and Iwaku. I'm horrible with pronouncing them, but I mix these two to see how white this looks, but I'm gonna blend this in so that it doesn't look crazy. I'm gonna go and use the Tarte Shape Tape. I'm just gonna finish this off. And then I'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty Match Sticks and this is an espresso and I'm gonna use this to contour with. So I'm gonna go right ahead and I'm gonna use my Sasha Buttercup to set my highlighted areas. Before I put on my contour, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. This is in Deep Fonce. You just wanna make sure that you set your contour areas before you put your contour powder on because it will stick. 
Now we're just gonna go right ahead and add our contour. And I'm using the CoverGirl Queen Collection. This is in deep bronze, ebony bronze, I'm sorry, ebony bronze. Now we're gonna get into this palette. I'm going to be using the Tandemonium shade. It's like an all over. This is just like a neutral shade. Very nude on me. Now I'm going to use Queen Sugar, which is this maroon shade right here. I'm gonna use that all over my lid as well. It is some girls out there that don't like the dramatic makeup. You know, you just want like an everyday, you know, look. And I feel like this palette is perfect for that. I saw it on the lower part of my lid and then I blew it out. Because you don't want it to be all dark up here and light down here. So start right here and then you can blend out the edges. Be careful when you're tapping in here. You don't really need to tap that hard because it is a little fallout. So kind of like just tap your brush in there. And that's all the pigment that you really need. You really don't need to like dig in there. I'm gonna take a flat brush like this with the same shadow and blow it out underneath. You want your eyes to kind of be cohesive and together. We're gonna go ahead and put on our lip. What we're putting on Foxy Brown by Minted Cosmetics is a very nice soft brown. I'm just gonna kind of put it in the center. I'm gonna put gloss on. And then I'm going to go ahead and put on Sin Nudes, which is their gloss. And it's so soft and buttery against your lips. And this is a completed look. What do you guys think about the look that I created with this palette? If you guys are looking for the perfect nude for people of color, they have the nudes for you. Um, go out and check them out. They have the lipsticks, they have the lip glosses, and now they have a palette. So thank you so much, Minted Cosmetics, for sending me all of these goodies. And I can't wait to see what else you guys come out with um, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Um, leave some comments below what you think about this look. Have you guys purchased some Minted Cosmetics? Have you never heard of it? Because if you haven't, then I'm glad that you guys saw this video. But slay every day, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.